What's happening with all BGG? Uh, no, they're not from New York. They're from Georgia. Wait, what? Yes, I just I just checked their thing. They're from Georgia. And, How? and yes. Yep. Well, that being said, all BGG going young link, Jay Grunt with the Goon Ninja. Always see him go with it. Now, these Seven. up -bees. If I see one more up -bee from the opposite side of the stage, I am going to lose my marbles because that was the second one where just Jay Grunt was nowhere near him at all. Yeah, something that Young Link is really gonna just struggle with in this matchup, um, recovery. That's really huge. Young Link, as far as recoveries go, definitely some of the most exploitable. Um, and Greninja is definitely like one of the most potent edge guarders in the game. Just able to go so deep, like really, really chase Young Link, and um, like like having that Hydro Pump just on deck like that is gonna be such a menace. Right now, you just see all the GG just struggling to start an interaction, just throwing out all these buttons, hoping that something will eventually stick. Um, but right now, Jay Grunt is just trying to find an opening to jump in. I like the way that he's mixing up his jump ins. Uh, you see him like slightly adjusting the timing of his falling neutral airs. Um, and that's like to sort of like maybe catch Albe in his jump squat, or to catch him jumping already a little bit. Um, just really, really keeping him on his toes so that he can't always like go with the same muscle memory. Okay, I just want to clarify. By the way, Albe is not in Georgia. They're actually in, they're actually in New York. I'm not gonna say which township though. Wait, that's weird. But why does they smash GG to Georgia? I mean, they're physically located in New York, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess. Before anyone says, "LOL, VPN." Yes, it could be a VPN. But you know what? If it was a VPN, they'd probably be dropping a lot of packets and have a much higher ping than they have right now. So it's probably not a VPN. Uh, please continue. I know you, you're all good. That's a, that's a good point to make. VPNs will probably just like, you know, <laughs> please, please don't play Smash with any fighting game with the VPN. <laughs> It'll be bad. It's, it's yeah, not really. a good time for anybody. I just really need to play Smash, and I really want to do it in this region-only tournament that's best, that's meant to provide better better uh, events. Listen, he doesn't want to get dogs, he doesn't want to get hats, so he has a VPN. Blue Smash. Oh my, god. oh my god, the timing to punish that is just so difficult. Um, and something that he has to be mindful of is the direction that the boomerang is coming from when he is punishing that up B. Because if you notice, he was perfectly in the position to punish it had it not been for that boomerang coming from that same exact place. He had to have crossed up uh, Young Link and just been on the opposite side there. You know, Young Link uh, up B is extremely difficult to punish just because it has so little end lag. Usually, unless you have like something that covers a lot of space, your best option is just to be jump outside on of his yep, effective first range mm -hmm. and wait. Yeah, and that being said, Grandja for you know, you're not going to see it kill too often, but it's definitely like a nice way of catching people shielding in a corner a little bit. I like these little pokes with the shuriken. Uh, you just see like all BGG, like you know, like really that interaction uh, made me slightly uncomfortable. We don't. It's fine. You know, we're gaming with the E in it. Wow, I really like the way that all DG is giving, like, Jake a lot of space to land so that he could, like, back up, throw his boomerang, trying to catch it with a full charge down smash. I don't even think that would have killed um, at that point. That's the back here right now. He is off stage just as a nasty position. Actually going to end up trading good weight before up being is what I would say. But that is going to be the stop just as mentioned before. The win box going to be extremely potent uh, going forward. Good weight for the boomerang to come back and just to wait out uh, the angel plaid in home. Yeah, this is a really, really tough spot. Oh, such a good quick up B, just able to get right under the win box. Uh, just in time. Good frame trap, but neutral air dodges in this game, so difficult to punish. Uh, Jay Grunt was just <gasps> in the mm -hmm. Down tilt up smash. Classic. Yeah. I just like the fact that like a lot of young links think they can kind of get away with uh, doing damage repeatedly. Which, yeah, that moves really hard to punish on shield. But man, you don't want to whiff it, especially against a character like Greninja that has super quick like uh, punishes like that that lead into kill moves. Mm -hmm. You can't be swinging wildly against him. <laughs> oh god, he got his first kill with Danner. 
Yeah, I think in the beginning, Jay Grant was just like sort of remembering everything he needs to know about the matchup. I feel like he was running into a lot of things that uh, might have been like pretty predictable with just like a little bit more situational awareness, like especially with the returning boomerang and punishing those upbeats. But I think later on in the game, he started to get a handle on it. So unless all BGG is just able to make some proper adjustments, um, this is going to be looking like a pretty, you know, pretty, pretty nice 2-0 for Jay Grant. I'm kind of impressed that Albe is like, yo, downer's working. I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> Listen, if it ain't broke, uh, you know, don't don't fix it. You know? Yeah, no. I think that's the uh, expression. And we went from having, we went from young Link to, to old Link. Three, two, one, the, the big boy Link. Go! Now, uh, if there's somebody that really struggles in disadvantage, much more so than young Link because he doesn't have fast buttons, it's, uh, it's, it's the big boy Link. You know the one. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know about that. Well, I think, like, Young Link, just having a smaller frame in general, having faster buttons um, than Link like that is just going to be able to land a whole lot easier, um, especially just because, like, the only button Link really has in comparison to Young Link is neutral. Yeah. 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 I mean, a big wow. part of it is, like, how... Mm, that was pretty close. A big part of it is, like, yeah, he has a larger frame, so he is more vulnerable. You're 100% correct about that. But you have to keep in mind that he does, if you mess up your strings and you're not like properly putting your stuff together, it's very easy to get punched super hard by it. Mm -hmm. So it's like but, you gotta be confident with your percents. Yeah. I don't know if it's just me, but I do think Adult Link has like significantly worse air speed than- Oh, than, 100%. Uh, really. So that's just gonna make like really tough to like make your drift ambiguous. He's just gonna have a tough time landing in general, um, is, is what I'm really getting at right now. Honestly, one of the biggest issues that they, that Albe had the last match was that they kept trying to play close quarters, like just scrapping super hard. Um, and they're not changing that strategy. They're just going for a character that if they trade, they're going to win more interactions like that. Mm -hmm. But you know, I respect it. Don't don't play too campy if you can help it. Mm -hmm. That's one up. Is he going to be able to connect the other? No, he is not. Going to be ending up trading with the neutral. Uh, but Albe GG not taking that, like, mm, I, I feel like he could have taken, like, a little bit more of a proactive ledge trap attempt there. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of, like, backed up, afraid to get up in Jay Grant's space. Like, almost any hit is going to take the, the stock for Albe. Jay Grant is in a position where he should be able to get the kill. Oh, no. Uh -oh. Ooh. He needs to. You, you can't let Lynx get away with, like, that upbeat. And if, and if you do let him get away, just, just... Either you time you punish, or you just don't and just try to reposition yourself, right? The worst thing that you could do is just whiff something in their face after they've already landed. Because then you're just gonna end up dying, just like that. Yeah, no, definitely. Lots of up smashes coming from, from Albe here, and you know what? Like, five out of six of them have already connected. So, they're working out good. You know, Albe has not taken any damage to stock, at least not any appreciable amount of damage. Mm -hmm. So they're in a pretty good position. They're pressing their advantage, but trying to play it super carefully because they know literally one hit is going to be a confirm. Oh my goodness, that counter was nuts. Very yeah. nice. That's that was excellently timed. Um, that's like such a big thing against Goo Ninja as well. Like anybody that has like a counter where you basically just teleport. Like you need to be careful about the way you throw in those projectiles. This is so scary. He is off stage. Gonna be forced to go through the low recovery. Uh, Jay Grant not in any position at all to be able to punish that. Good wait for the neutral air dodge, but not able to get much more of a punish other than that dash attack. Just waiting for him to push in. Like, you saw that, right? Like, he was just waiting yeah. in the shield, waiting for him to press the button. Alright, Albe kind of in a terrible position here. He's got to try to find that kill and find it safely. Oh, fear, man. That fear is too real. Yo, that edge guard from Jigra? I was sick. As a matter of fact, clip that. Clip that edge guard. That was the nicest edge guard I've ever seen. Hands down. Can, some can somebody clip that edge guard? So I think, what, I, I think what happened was that Albe pulled out the bomb and either threw it or dropped it off screen. Mm -hmm. So it like, it, un, it unmade itself. And then he just pulled it out again after it already like disappeared off. And then he just died for it. So that's unfortunate. 
Yeah. Uh, that's the you closest thing. If, like, if you look at the blast on indicator, like he was so close to the edge of the screen. And this is Ooh. such a flub from Jake. <laughs> that that entire two action made me really upset. Either you punish it and you know how to punish it, or you just you, you just might as well say because you know you don't want to end up dying like that. But that being said, that's a pretty confident right, two. Yeah, look at his location on the, the blast zone. It was just like super... Oh, I think he just messed up his bomb recovery. Yeah, no, he messed up his bomb recovery. He had it in his hands and he 